Campus has had a long history of misogynist, racist and homophobic slogans on its tourist vans. It's also had a history of punishing and threatening those women who've complained or criticised. We, we don't need to be blamed. Violence uh, shouldn't be condoned or minimised or justified or excused. And that's what Wicked Campers vans are doing. They are supporting a culture that supports violence against us, and I say no more. This year alone, there's been 30 women who've been murdered by men in Australia. I've had enough. We need to stop the culture that supports rape and, and the violence against women, and Wicked Campers promotes these attitudes. Unfortunately, you know, there's a lot of people who get indoctrinated to that because of this kind of stuff that we see, unfortunately, not just in wicked vans, but that perme permeate our entire culture um, with, and, and uh, that is, you know, structurally built into how capitalism operates. I think when women breastfeeding is considered offensive, but John Webb's vans can, you know, uh, ride, <laughs> ride around the street without challenge, then I think we, that, that kind of quite clearly, without debate, shows, shows the massive kind of uh, struggle we have against this, against uh, rape culture. As a mother of a young son, I am terrified of the thought of what these messages are portraying to him as a contributing human in our society. I swear I will not see him growing up thinking that this behaviour is normal for men. We need to create a space for women's voices to be heard so that young men respect women will listen to women and will see them as their equals. Only then will this epidemic of men's negative, dangerous attitude against women begin to shift.